Now remember earlier how we were talking about the the fan motor, the wiring on it, and, and I said a lot of people are intimidated by that, and you're like, well, yeah, I am intimidated by it. And I told you that the, the hardest part of changing your fan motor was getting the fan blade off because sometimes they rust on there and get kind of sticky and that's the hardest part, but the wiring is really not a whole lot to it. And you probably didn't believe me, but I'm going to show you that I was telling you the truth. We have here our old motor and it has three wires on it, okay? And our new motor has four wires. Now. The two brown wires from our new motor go to our run capacitor which is included with your motor and actually I sent it already with the terminals already plugged into the new capacitor and then you have two other wires so you're like if you take a look at, at this uh, this is a typical dual capacitor and it also has uh, connected to it I've connected just to make it a little more dramatic I've also connected a super booster to it and if you look at it, it looks like a Christmas tree and there just seems to be wires going everywhere and you, you figure well how in all this mess am I going to be able to figure out where, where, my, where my two power wires for my new motor go and the answer is so ridiculously simple you're not going to believe it now let's look at the wires that come off our old motor and we'll just trace them back to wherever they go to and we'll trace uh, for example this purple wire and we'll see that it comes over here and it mounts on this dual capacitor and it goes to the terminal mark common and then we'll trace our our other brown wire here and we'll trace it back to wherever it goes and we'll see it comes to the dual capacitor and it goes on the terminal mark fan or F and so our purple and our brown wire go to the dual capacitor and in this case our black wire does and it goes off and plugs in somewhere else so all we have to do to figure out where to connect these two wires from our new motor we have three wires on our old motor if you have a dual capacitor like this and two of the wires are connected on your dual capacitor you simply find the terminal that's marked fan and they'll be marked fan or F uh, H or HERM for hermetic and C or maybe COMM for common all you have to do is find the terminal that's marked F or fan and just take that wire off okay and we'll put that aside and then these two wires go to wherever our remaining two wires went to so our purple wire went to common in this case so we would just pull our our purple wire off common and we would plug in our black wire for example or you could have plugged in the white wire, it doesn't make any difference. And then we have our remaining wire, our black wire, and we would simply trace where that wire went to, and we would unplug that black wire, and wherever that black wire went, we would plug in our other power wire. Now this terminal here on this dual capacitor now is empty, and we're just going to leave it empty, and we're not ever going to worry about it again. We're not ever going to give it a second thought. It's not going to hurt no one, it just uh, leave it in the unit because you still need this dual capacitor uh, to run your compressor so that's why we're going to leave it in here and what I often do is I get the new capacitor from the new fan motor and I'll zip tie it to the side of this capacitor maybe or if there's like a, a big bundle of wires running through the unit somewhere in the control box I'll just zip tie it to that big bundle of wires all you need to do is just put this capacitor somewhere where it's not going to get in any trouble and uh, or wiggle loose and go and and touch something electrical or whatever you just want to put it somewhere where it's going to stay out of trouble and it doesn't matter if you mount it uh, with the terminals pointed up pointed down you can mount it this way that way however you want to mount it wherever you can fit it inside the control box so it's not going to get in any trouble is perfectly acceptable Now there's one other possibility. You might have in your unit a capacitor for your compressor and you'll have, you might have a little capacitor like this that, that goes to your outdoor fan motor or your condenser motor. And the way you determine the capacitor that goes to your outdoor fan motor is you just trace the wires from the outdoor fan motor 
back to the control box, you just wiggle them back and forth and, and you find where each wire goes. And the wires from your old outdoor fan motor will come and, and plug into your, uh, your motor run capacitor. So this is the capacitor for the outdoor fan motor. And you'll notice uh, once again, two of the wires from our old motor come to our, our capacitor and one does not. So all we have to do is determine uh, which of these wires we're going to eliminate because once, once again we have our, our new motor has four wires on it. We have two brown wires that connect to our, our new capacitor and it doesn't matter if we put this terminal here or that terminal there. As long as we put one brown wire on each one of these terminals we're going to be in good shape. And then we have two other wires that come off our new fan motor and we got to determine where to put these two wires. So all we do is we look at our capacitor and we find that there's two terminals on it and on this terminal there are two wires and on this terminal there's only one wire. So we, we take the, the terminal that has one wire on it and we remove this wire and this is our capacitor wire. So that means that this is our power wire and this other wire is our power wire and that's where we would connect our two wires from our new fan motor. But um, this old capacitor, we're not going to want to use this old capacitor. We're going to want to remove it and throw it away because this capacitor uh, went to our old fan motor. So what we'll do is we'll take this capacitor out and it probably has a little bracket so that would be a, a nice little mounting point to uh, mount our, our new capacitor in. Uh, these are all pretty much the same size when you uh, have the exterior of them anyway. Some are taller, uh, longer, for example. For example, we have this one. It's quite a bit longer, but it's, it's also the same, the same uh, diameter width and whatever. So it should mount in the bracket that this old capacitor was in. And since we're going to remove this capacitor, what we'll do is we'll, we'll take this wire off and we'll trace this wire back to wherever it plugged into and we'll plug in one of our power wires there and then we'll trace this wire to wherever it's plugged into and we'll, we'll plug in our other power wire where that wire went. And if we were to do it the other way, we were to plug this, uh, this wire from our new motor into, into this one and plug that one into that one, it wouldn't make any difference as long as we plug one into each uh, of our power wires then our motor is going to operate no problem.